trying to, did you get him? Locating the uh, hummingbird? Out, outside. Out yeah. The Actually, when he gets tired, he'll probably just drop, won't he? <laughs> Find him somewhere around here on the floor. Uh, coming up in this half hour, uh, Harvey Picar will be with us. And to uh, Marlon, what? Marlon is up? Marlon Brando is here? Marlon Brando is here? See if he'll come in. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Marlon Brando. It's, uh, I'm sorry, it's only Chris Elliott, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I, I thought there for a second it might really uh, be Marlon Brando. Uh, now, before you start with your witty needles, <laughs> I have something for you. I uh, brought you something. Okay. And if I could just take a minute sure. to give it to you, where the hell Here it is. I brought for you a letter uh -huh. because everybody on your staff says that you are the letter man. Uh -huh. <laughs> so here's your letter, man. <laughs> Here's your letter, man. It's poor, poor Dave right here. Yeah. Now, uh, Chris, th I guess this is going to be your new character for the show you come on as Marlon Brando? May I be so bold? Uh-huh. <laughs> Go right ahead. I have a question to ask the leader of your jazz band combo over sure. here. Excuse me, fellas, why do you have to play that <laughs> so loud? <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, uh, Mr. Brando, uh, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's not exactly that loud. It's, Excuse me. Uh, shush, shush, shush. How do you get Ringo to clam up? Uh, well, it's tough. <laughs> now, now uh, Marlon, I mean Chris, rather, uh, what, what can we expect from this new uh, character? Well, basically, Dave, from now on, I'm going to be a thorn in your craw. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> from time to time, I'll be stopping by, bringing a feeling of unpredictability, a feeling of awkwardness, uh -huh. a feeling of uneasiness. Uh -huh. And basically, I'm going to be giving your audience a choice. That'll be good. Either they can laugh, or they can sit there and just be baffled. <laughs> <laughs> so it'd be pretty much uh, just like every other character you've done for us. <laughs> uh, you're very good with the jab. Okay. Very now, uh, Chris, why did you choose Marlon Brando? Because I look exactly like him. <laughs> you look exactly like Marlon Brando. Well, I think of this either. Uh, now that now that's that's a. Uh, that's a classic photograph of Marlon uh, Brando when he was in uh, The Wild One. No, no, that's Jarrell from the Superman show. Can't you see he has his, he has his star man hat on, college boy? <laughs> well, uh, you know, Marlon uh, Brando did Superman a long time after The Wild One, actually. You know, I think maybe you've been hanging out with Ringo too long. Okay, well, <laughs> well uh, good luck, Chris. And as always, when you start a new character, we have a couple of things for you. We have some, uh, a lovely bottle of champagne right down here. And uh, with the champagne comes a, a card signed by every member of the staff uh, uh, wishing you all the best with your new character. May I tell you something? Sure. May I thank you for this. Sure. But may I tell you that I personally don't give a flaming horse's ass for your champagne <laughs> oh, well. or your birthday card. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all I would like is for your beautiful audience here to accept me, uh, to take me into your arms okay. and make me one of yours. And with that, I must leave. All right. Marlon Brando. Hi, welcome back to the uh, show. Boy, it got warm in here. Uh, you know, when something like that happens, I, I don't feel so badly but, uh, for me, but tonight especially, it's the boy's first day, and I, I hate, to, hate to see something like that happen on a, on a show that he's producing like that. That's I too know. bad. Well, well, if you had any control over the show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then. <laughs> Uh, coming up uh, later, or soon, or just any minute now, uh, Dominique Lafort with the performing Trained Cats, and uh, also uh, Randy Travis. Yes. Going to sing with uh, the band, and I guess a couple of his own uh, players. Brought some pickers from Nashville. Okay. And uh, tomorrow on the program, Richard Lewis will be here, and a woman who windsurfed across the Atlantic. Is this the, the lady? Huh? From Miami. Man. Huh? A man. A man. <laughs> a man. A man who windsurfed from Miami. Across the Atlantic. Did, did he know the woman who did it? Uh, Stephanie Pyron will be here. 
Stefan. <laughs> Things are going pretty smoothly, don't you think, Paul? <coughs> Under the new, uh, new regime? All right, anyway, that'll... New regime. Uh, Richard Lewis and uh, Patty Smythe. Ah, yes. Yeah. That'll Playing be good, with us good tomorrow. show tomorrow. And now we have uh, little actual items that we found in an actual supermarket. Paul, music for this? Yes. That's enough. Okay, Paul. That's enough. Thank you. We don't have nearly that kind of... Okay, that's enough. Uh, here's a, a container of handy tie trash bags. Uh, glad handle tie trash bags. Lining an outdoor garbage container, lining a laundry hamper, or it can be used as a travel tote bag. There you have it right there. <laughs> Yeah, doesn't it make, makes lovely, uh, lovely luggage, doesn't it? I'm, so, I'm sorry, ma'am, you're going to have to check your rubbish. <laughs> uh, here's a little item we found in a supermarket. Uh, it's called, um, keep it in your sneaker, foot powder. Here's a shoe and foot powder called, keep it in your sneaker. Boy, it's a good thing this company is not making condoms. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Okay, we have one more, this jumbo container of peanuts, improved new flavor breakthrough. Right there, improved new flavor breakthrough. Well, I guess it's no secret where the next Nobel Prize is going, huh? <laughs> okay, do we have, uh, have, do we have uh, any more? Do we have any more? Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Marlon Brando. Thank you, Ladies and gentlemen, it's our own Chris Elliott as Marlon Brando. Marlon, it's great to see you. May I be so bold uh -huh. to interrupt your little kitchen pantry utensil hour uh -huh. <laughs> and say that I was watching, by the way, in the green room, uh -huh. and just to say, you know, the green room, ladies and gentlemen, is not actually green. Uh -huh. In fact, it's painted white, as white as my big... <laughs> <laughs> And now, with that aside, I will sit down. Okay, sure. And with the permission of your audience, uh -huh. I have brought my own little grocery store riddle. Okay. That's what I to you. Sort of like it? what we were just doing there. I don't know what you were doing just there. <laughs> yeah, with a little grocery store items. <laughs> now, let me see what I have here. Uh -huh. This is the Kit Kat chocolate. All right. And I think I wrote something. I don't know what tree to show this to. Right there. Camera. Right over here. Camera. That's right, Marlon. Is that the one? That's right. And I will read this over here. Which I wrote, this is the Kit Kat chocolate, and it says Kit Kat, better put a leash on it, or it might scratch up your furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Marlon. It might scratch up your furniture. Right, we understand, Marlon, yeah. <laughs> you have the hottest audience yeah, in town. thank you very much. We'll put, put this in a little file. Yeah. That wasn't, uh, that was very good with Foster Brooks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't, uh, <laughs> that wasn't uh, a joke of what you did there so much as it was a riddle. Ah! <laughs> yeah. uh, There's no topping him. I'm okay. not even going to try. Okay. Now, Chris. Uh, Chris. Marlon. Uh, okay. Chris, if you could Marlin. just. Marlon. I'm, I'm sorry. Marlon. Um, you know, I, I, I think maybe you're taking this new character a little too far. I understand some of the staff were complaining earlier today because you made an intern cry upstairs. Well, yes, and I also phoned her college, and I informed her professor that she should not get credit for her work here on the show. <laughs> why, why would you do something like that? The young lady could not accommodate me. Uh -huh. I asked her for a simple task, something that would not take long, certainly. Uh -huh. Something that every man needs, something uh -huh. that I need every t now, now and then. Uh -huh. And she said no. I see. And I made her cry. And if that is a crime, then I beg you now on my hands and knees to kill me with all your might. <laughs> yeah. I, Marlon, I think you're overreacting, being a little too dramatic. And now I have grown fatigued, but I thank you for your, for your forced out criticisms uh -huh. of my act. Uh -huh. I've grown fatigued. I shall go take a shower yeah. and go to sleep. Would it, well, sometime could we come visit you on the island? Please, whatever you do, stay away from the aisle. <laughs> okay. No, I must ask everybody. All right. all, you have a lovely staff. Uh, but we I can't like come all, to the aisle. I must ask you all to stay away from the aisle. <laughs> okay, Marlon. So you're going back to the hotel now? No, I'm going up to your office. And when you come up, please uh -huh. be quiet because I will be asleep. Okay, And with good. that, I must leave you. All right, Marlon. <laughs> nice to see you. Marlon Brando. Good to have you here.
All right, all right. Marlon Brando. Oh, I'm some okay. <laughs> well, hey, what do you do with that? We'll be right back. It's a little thing here. What do you do with that? Yeah, it's a beer. It makes me want to leave. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you very much. So the little kid comes out in a suit and a tie, and he shoves a balloon up his hey, nose. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh. that is a fault. Ladies and gentlemen, look who's here. It's, it's Chris Elliott. I, I mean, I'm sorry. It's Marlon Brando. Yeah. Marlon is... Now, may I be so bold as to tell you that I have enjoyed the shenanigans so far, although <laughs> oh, much good. of it <laughs> has gone over my head, but that's another story. Yeah. We can talk about that later. Well, what, what exactly <laughs> has gone over your head, Marlon? Everything so far. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, two things bother me. Why does Ringo have to butt in every five seconds? <laughs> uh -huh. And also, what does Wendell do in the grand scheme of things besides annoy the of the audience. <laughs> but with that aside, I will leave. Okay. Now, before I go, yeah. I would like to give the audience here a salad, oh, which that's I very have nice made myself. <laughs> now, this is a salad which I made on the island, uh -huh. and there are some herbs and some oils in here uh -huh. which I have brought from the island. Uh -huh. It is rather smelly. Uh -huh. Because I think the herbs may have gone bad. I see. Well, maybe, maybe then Marlin people shouldn't really eat that, do you suppose? Well, it's not going to hurt them. Uh -huh. There's no meat in it. Uh -huh. There's no cheese to speak of. Uh -huh. I'll tell you what I'll do. Please, whatever you do, if you're going to eat it, don't put croutons in it. Uh -huh. I beg you on my hands and knees like a dog, don't put croutons in it. Now, I will put this down on my chair here, and whoever would like to partake of it may do so at their leisure. Well, that's very nice. Marlon. And with that, I must leave. Thank you for dropping by. <laughs> Marlon Brando. Marlon Brando. Uh, our next guest spent some time working in this uh, very building on Saturday Night Live. We'll be right back with Jim Belushi. Thanks. Coming up at this half hour, uh, Paula Poundstone will be joining us and also uh, Senator Eugene McCarthy. Now, on uh, Sunday, I've been asked to remind you, August 16th, oh, they're repeating our uh, second annual film festival. On that show will be Michael Fox, Diane Sawyer, Jonathan Winters, Terry Gar, Chris Elliott, Paul Schaefer and the band and uh, myself. That's 10 o'clock Sunday. That's Sunday evening, uh, I guess this Sunday. It's our uh, second annual film uh, special, so watch that if you like. If you don't, it makes no difference to me. Uh, Marlon Brando, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for that warm reception. Thank you. And may I be so bold as to interrupt your Thursday Night Live cavalcade of comedy. Please do. Sponsored by Texaco. Sure. <laughs> uh, actually, you know, the uh, uh, Marlon, the name of the show, it's just simply Late Night. That's I'm the sorry, name the that was my bad ear. What? Uh, never mind. That's all right. Go on. By the way, I talked to your garbage lady, uh -huh. and I will be appearing at the Meadowlands <laughs> September 1st through the 15th, and you can see me there with the garbage lady. That's a pretty good gig. Now, I brought something for you, uh, and I'll put it over here. Uh -huh. Oh, nuts. Salt I don't know what nuts. house to show this to. Too. Right there. Salted nuts. Right over here we have the mixed nuts <laughs> yeah. and I will read something which I have written for you. I like how you always bring us a little something when you I drop in. I bring you something. I figure I gotta do something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I have here 
We're all coming to the island, by the way. Please, whatever you do, don't come to the island. You won't have a good time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've already made arrangements. I'm telling you, if you want to have a nice, smooth trip, don't come to the island, because you will have trouble. Well, we're all looking forward to it. Now, let me read this. <laughs> I have brought for you the can of mixed nuts. Right, right here. And I would like you to have some of Thank these you. mixed nuts <laughs> right now. But right. I beg of you not to aim the mixed nuts at me, the can, when you open these mixed nuts. Well, why, why would I aim a can of mixed nuts at anybody? No reason. I'm not hungry. I don't want any nuts right now. But uh -huh. please, open them over there. Please. <laughs> please. Right. Marlon brought us some uh, fancy nuts. I'll just... Uh... Oh. And now you may retaliate with your witty jabs. <laughs> Please, go easy on yeah. me. I'm frail. I'm well, frail. Well, I, don't, uh, I don't really have anything to say, uh, Chris. Uh, Marlon, uh, what, what else can we do for you? I have a favor to ask of you. As sure. you know, I'm a big fan of your shows, right. of yours. I think you're very funny, very witty, and I understand the little children call you the new Uncle Milty. <laughs> do they not? <laughs> well, actually, they do not. Could you use, could you use all your powers <laughs> and all your showbiz influence to please get that fella on your show, that fella that says, please don't squeeze the charm into the ladies. He is funny. The ladies come in uh -huh. and they say, may I please squeeze your shaman? And he says, and I think I'm paraphrasing now, <laughs> he says, please, ladies, you are free to sample any of my wares, excepting the toilet paper. Uh -huh. But they really want to squeeze it. And he says, enough, enough. And I say enough because I'm on the floor. He's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> is that funny? Please. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll certainly, we'll certainly try and if see. If you could, I don't know. He's the guy who does the Lou Grant hour. Yeah. Right. Fine. Well, we'll find him. And please bring the ladies yeah. in too. Are you? Are you, you getting? You shouldn't break up a team. Yeah. <laughs> are you getting enough citrus fruit? It looks like you're maybe just breaking out a little. <laughs> you're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Any anything else we can uh, do for you? Well, now I have a request of a personal nature. Mm -hmm. Something which I would cry of. Something that, if necessary, I will get down on my hands and knees and beg for like a dog. Oh, wow. Would you please, please be so kind as to get down and give me a foot rub? Now, don't answer now. Please, do not answer now, but think about well, it. I, I will answer now, and there's not a chance in now, hell that I Now, I must tell you, I've been, I have been in these hirachis all day. In fact, I fell asleep in them last night uh -huh. during your cavalcade. Okay, great. <laughs> And I will be in the green room awaiting right. your decision. Okay. And the green room, incidentally, ladies, is beautiful, but the soda in there is as warm as cow... Oh, <laughs> Marlon Brando. And now on that majestic note, I shall leave. Marlon Brando. Thank you, Marlon. Uh, coming up in this half hour, Harry Shearer will be here tomorrow, anchor, uh, oh, well, not tomorrow, but today, anchor of NBC News at Sunrise, which is on, well, not tomorrow, actually, but a little later today. Uh, anyway, Deborah, Deborah Norville will be here tomorrow. Now, uh, uh, Marlon Brando, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. What a surprise. Marlon Brando. May I be so bold as to interrupt your late night caravan of giggles uh -huh. <laughs> that I was watching in the green room? Go right ahead. Incidentally, I was backstage and I ran in to your Harry Blackstone Jr., uh -huh. who is just out here, and I had to tell him what I think. I told him that his prestidigitation sucked. <laughs> <laughs> And he was not pleased with my commentary. Some uh -huh. words were exchanged, yeah. and he came very close to getting one of my hirachis right up his... That's <laughs> uh, now, with that aside, I will sit down. All right, Marlon. Uh, now, I, I see, I see oh. you, uh, you come out tonight, and you have a matching set of luggage. Luggage? Yeah, luggage. Now, luggage is usually leather. Right, or vinyl. Or vinyl. Uh -huh. 
and this is paper. Uh -huh. Ah! <laughs> I'm already covered with witty jabs. <laughs> I've only been out here 30 seconds. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Get me some witch hazel. Get these jabs off me. <laughs> okay, Marla. Uh, Listen, go easy on me, will you? I'm uh, an old... Okay, Marla. Now... <laughs> Uh, so, I noticed you've been hanging around the building a lot the uh, yes, last I couple have. of weeks. And I think that uh, some of your witticisms uh -huh. are rubbing off on me the uh -huh. closer that you and I get. Yeah. We're getting very close. That's right. I was in uh, the elevator today, and it stopped on every floor. Oh, sure. And uh, so, without even thinking, uh -huh. I turned around to everybody else in the elevator and I said, Hey, it looks like we got on an express. <laughs> <laughs> looks like we got on an, an express. express. Right, yeah. But you know, as uh, I've, I've heard that joke before, and I think people usually say, oh, great, we're on a local. Oh, you got me again. <laughs> Get uh, these stingers uh, off me. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, I got another Hirachi. It might just have your name on okay, it. Okay, fine, Marlon. Now, <laughs> now, uh, now <laughs> what, uh, what do you have in the bags? I know you always bring a little something to the like show. I always like to bring something yeah. when I come out. Yeah. Now, I've brought something for you. I don't know where... Where it is here. I brought something from the McDonald's restaurant. Right. Now let me bring it for you if I may. Okay. This is here we have it is the Garfield mug. Oh, those are nice. And I'll put this over here. I have brought two. There you go, right? One there. for you and thank one you for very me. Much. That's of very course, thoughtful. this is yours because it is scratched. All right, Marlon, thank you. <laughs> That's now, lovely. Yeah. It is lovely, and as I understand it, each week these mugs will change at McDonald's. Uh -huh. And I will be bringing you the different well, one we'll from one week to the next. That'd be nice. This week finds our friend Garfield on a seesaw with his bosom pals. Uh -huh. Next week, he may very well be skiing or playing tennis. I cannot predict these things, for I am not God. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you very I much. I hope I'll, you enjoy I'll, that. Uh, I'll cherish this Yeah, moment. don't let thank Ringo you. use it. No, He'll put some of that funny juice in it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh... Gene Krupa over there. Marlon, we're, we're just about out of time, and I want to thank you for dropping by. Now, I must tell you uh -huh. that my plumbing has been somewhat clogged oh, okay, of late. Okay, great. And I have taken a remedy just before the show, and I must leave now, for I feel that it may be working as we speak. Marlon Brando, so ladies and gentlemen. Folks, come on back. Thank you, boys. Uh, later in the program, Jeff Altman will be here. A very, very funny man. Very disturbed uh, guy. And also Chinese cable TV personality, Yu Sai Khan. <laughs> Nice to see you, Marlon. Thank you very much. Yeah. May I be so bold as to interrupt your little show? I was watching backstage, and I thought everything was going very well, so I thought I would drag my big rump out here and bring the festivities to a screeching halt, <laughs> if I may. Sure, we'll go right ahead. <laughs> now, I must tell you uh -huh. that I was all prepared to get squirted by your prancing waters over here. And then, there they go. Yeah. <laughs> and I was going to retaliate right. with my own little squirter gun. Uh -huh. But I must tell you, my squirter gun leaked, uh -huh. as you can see, right over here. So I met your fountain's mercy. Uh -huh. Now, before you pass judgment on me, please, this is just water. I did not piss on myself. <laughs> With that, I will sit down. All right. Well, Marlon, it's... Oh, jeez. Hey, watch yourself there. <laughs> it's, it's always uh, good to see you. Well, it's always good to see you. See you. I see you everywhere. Your yeah. mug is spread over the tube like a wad of cream cheese. Well, you know, I, I pretty much just do this, this show. That's about it, just this show here. No, I saw you. Where did I see you? I saw you on Bewitched. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. very funny. You, uh, <laughs> you play the, uh, the, the dumb husband. Well, well and I certainly could play the dumb husband, but I think that's some, someone No, else. you're very good. And, yeah. and what I like about the show is that she goes around doing the blah, 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 doing her witchy stuff. Yeah. And then the husband says to her, my wife, are you a witch? And she says, my dearest husband, no, I am not, but all this shit is flying all over the place. Yeah. 
It's really funny, but sometimes it's kind of scary. Sometimes I think she's going to throw the mojo on me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, uh, Marlon, have you, uh, ha have you uh, brought a little something for us tonight? Have I brought? I always like to bring something. Now, what do I have here for you? Let me see my little try bag of tricks. Try not to touch me again, okay? As, as it were. I didn't hear that. I, I have said, a bad ear Try not left to touch side. me again, okay? Now, over here... I don't know where the hell it is. They put it in here. They packed the stuff so good for me. Uh -huh. I brought you some of my salad oh, from yeah. the island. Which I you know you, you're famous for your salad. I am right over there, and I don't know what, <laughs> where to show that. Right here. And then I have something I'm very happy with. This is Marlin's famous salad dressing mm -hmm. right over here, mm -hmm. which I'm looking for a sponsor for. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get this in the grocery stores very soon, Certainly. but the FDA has not approved it. Uh -huh. Now, with that aside, yeah. I would like you to taste it. Now, let me just uh, pour a little of it on over here. No, I know, I know. May, <laughs> it doesn't may, look great, but believe I, me, it's delicious. May I be so bold as to say there's not a chance in hell that I'll be <laughs> tasting, tasting that. Why is everybody so scared of my salad dressing? No, no, no. There's nothing in here. This is delicious stuff. Here, let me, I'll taste it for you. All right. Right over here, let me just try it. <laughs> oh, you look at it. All right, that is not my salad dressing. <laughs> All right. No, I fear that possibly a disgruntled native uh -huh. has played a little trick on me from my island uh -huh. and switched pouches. I have a distinct idea of what this is, uh -huh. but without going into any details, let me just say I should not have eaten it. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, all right, Marlon. Uh, oh, maybe another time. Oh, my. I think, I think oh, should, my. I think we should wrap oh, this geez. up, don't you? Time to move along. Listen, before I go, boys in the band, I got a little surprise for you tonight. Fellas, Ringo, I'm going to take you all out tonight. <laughs> I'm going to get you all laid. <laughs> Marlon Brando, well, ladies and gentlemen. I must tell you, I am not a miracle worker. <laughs> I will do my best. Okay. Marlon Brando, always good to have you here. Marlon. Now, David, hold on, hold on. They love me. I thank you for your applause, although it was rather early. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> you got me with another witty jab. Ow! <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs to your dressing room now because right. I'm somewhat clammy from all these festivities. Uh -huh. And I think I shall take a horse back. Oh, good. And with okay. that, I will now leave. Right. Goodbye, Marlon Brando, ladies and Garcia and uh, Bob Weir. Yes, sir. Remember what, Jerry, remember when we used to work to Fillmore? Yeah. Every minute of it, Dave. Crazy, wasn't it? Uh, we'll hear uh, more from uh, Jerry Garcia and Bob Weir. And uh, tomorrow on the program, uh, Molly Ringwald will be here. And uh, Buckwheat Zydeco. I got that right? It is, it is Buckwheat. Okay. Uh, and Iowa's hat lady, Alvina Sellers. Marlon Brando, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. Now, be so bold as to interrupt your little make-believe comedy ballroom. Sure, go right ahead. Which I was watching in the green room. And incidentally, ladies and gentlemen, the green room tonight is a madhouse. In one ear, I got Cassius Clay babbling about God knows what. And over on the other side, I got two old tuning their guitars. <laughs> I had to drag my big butt out here just to get some fresh air. <laughs> Now I'm going to sit down. Okay, fine, oh, Marlon. Geez. Now, uh, oh. as always, oh. it's uh, quite a surprise when you stop no. by to see us. Now, wait a second. It's uh. comedy jab time. All right. And I have for you right here uh -huh. my own top ten challenge. Oh, which, good. Which, if I may, I think I'm going to read. All right. Right here. Now, Gene Krupa, 
Shake your cans a little for me over here. <laughs> All right. Top ten reasons why you, uh -huh. the David Letterman Hour, are so hot. Uh -huh, okay. Number ten, because Dave is a firecracker. <laughs> that is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> well, well. Now I hope uh, I hope you're not mad. Oh, no, certainly not mad do. at you, not at all, Marlon. It's always a pleasure to have you with us, and I couldn't be mad at you, no. Well, if you're not mad, would you hold my hand? No, I'm not going to hold your hand. <laughs> all right, please let your video record show that I asked David to hold my hand. He declined, uh -huh. and I did not push him on that. Okay. All right? Marlon, now... Now we can go ahead. <laughs> Good. What, uh, what brings you here tonight, Marlon? I know you always uh, provide a little entertainment uh, while you're... I always you... bring something. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> well, I come here, David, because you're a god, and I'm a dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. sighs> and a dog is a cat, uh -huh. and a cat eats fish. Right. Fish swim, and I swim in a lake with my dog, Dutchie, uh -huh. and uh -huh. I've got a headache, and... Man is an ape, and an ape is a Marlin, man, and when you Marlin, wear a wig, you get me. sweat. Marlon, you're drifting, you... oh, Marlon. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I haven't slept in six days. Why is that? Your, your snoring keeps me awake all night. <laughs> I got him with a jab, a zinger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a comedy porcupine. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Marlon, what do you have there in the bags? Well, David, uh -huh. you and I are getting fat. That's right. Now, uh, we make no bones about it. Mm. <laughs> it is time you and I get into shape. Okay, good idea. Now, I have something here. Where the hell did I put it? This is something I've been working on on the island, and I'm very happy about. Let me put it right over here. It is called the Mad Be So Bold Stomach Reduction System. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know what tree to show this to right over here. Right, I think we've seen it. Don't okay. worry. Now, we're That's very good. lucky because we already have the endorsement of the American Medical Association. Oh, so wow. We're very happy. The, the AMA actually uh, is endorsing this? No, but we're going to say that so we can sell them real huh? quick. Real <laughs> yeah, good. Isn't it gay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, let me show you how this works. Uh -huh. You just you put your... This is for your here. stomach. It's, it tightens the stomach muscles. Okay. It's a reduction system. Okay. And then you hold right here, and then you squeeze, and then you twist. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just like that. Uh -huh. and Oh, yeah, I can feel that working. That's working now. Yeah. All right, I'm in pain. Yeah. I'm in pain. Where, <laughs> okay. Where exactly uh, do, you, do you feel the pain? Is it in your stomach, Marlon? Well, I feel it in my stomach, but it also feels like a vice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, all right, uh, Marlon. Uh, oh. oh. David, it's big favorite time uh -huh. now. Yeah. Would you get some mice and put it in the affected no, area? No, I'm Ladies and gentlemen, Marlon Brando. What, what are you? Marlon Brando. I'm going to leave that crap out. back with Jerry Garcia and Bob Weir, folks. Thank you very much. Linda Berry is with us tonight, a very funny, a very charming, very witty woman. And we'll be uh, chatting with her in just a few moments. And on uh, Monday's program, as I mentioned earlier, we'll say... Marlon <laughs> Brando. Good to see you, Marlon. Oh, thank you. Oh, man, be so bold as to interrupt your little wonderful world of Disney that I was watching in the green room. Thank you it's very much. It's going very well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this evening I'd like to start out with a little political satire about our beloved President Carter, if I may be so bold. <laughs> now, it's a little joke. Mr. Carter, if you're watching in the Oval Office, I hope you take this with a light heart. It's meant in good fun, okay? Not, not serious. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let me see here. It's a little joke about Mr. Carter. Do you know how to make a Carter sandwich? Well, it's very easy. You s Honey, can you move in just a little bit? There you go. 
It's very simple. <laughs> How you make a cottage sandwich, honey, you're gonna have to come in. I can't. All right, just stand. Don't run away from me. <laughs> How do you prepare a cottage sandwich? Well, you simply add a little bit of peanut butter and then a lot of bologna. Ah! <laughs> a lot of baloney. Oh, brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give yourselves a round of applause. You're the hottest audience in America. Okay. And with that, I'm going to sit down. Oh, jeez. Marla, oh. it's always good to see oh. you. That, oh, was, you. Uh, that was really, really well, quite funny. Just a little political humor, Dave. Yeah. Boy, do we need it now, huh? Well, we sure do, huh? <laughs> yeah. Dave, may I say you look lovely as ever. Well, thank you very evening. much, Marlon. How do you do it? Well, you I'm, look great. What do you, you. Do you have a portrait in the attic or no, something? I, I gotta tell you, yeah. you look great because I know you're old. That's right. You're I very am. old. <laughs> but I used to I watch you on the bandstand. That's right. And then uh, on the pyramid. Yeah. You're very good on that. Uh -huh. Really, you must be married to Jack LaLanne or no, something because you look good, buddy. Right. You look uh, good. <laughs> Marlon, what, uh, what can we do for you tonight? Have you brought us anything? I know you have the big bag there. Can I tell you something? Uh -huh. This evening I brought something. Ringo, wait up over there. I brought something for you because I've been neglecting you. I was in a store the other day and I uh -huh. saw something that just shouted, put me on Ringo, put me on right. Ringo. So I had to buy it for you. I hope it fits. This is it. Look at that. Uh, the little hat with it. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> it is. It's quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you like it, Ringo. There's little boots in here. Uh -huh. I hope those I don't... <laughs> I don't know what size you were, I just guessed, uh -huh. but I hope it fits. Uh -huh. yeah. Enjoy it in good health, all right? All right great, Marlon, thank you very much. Marlon. Health, very what did I say, health? Health, you mentioned health, health. yeah. What does that rhyme with? Wealth. Health and wealth, yeah. Well, there was a wealthy man. Wealthy man is a millionaire, and there was a millionaire on that ship, and it was a, well, if you just sit right back, I'll tell you a tale, a tale of a fateful trip. It started Excuse from me, this tiny port aboard this tiny ship. Marlon? The mate was a mighty sailor Marlon? man, the skipper brave and Marlon? sure. Five pounds. Excuse me. Huh. I, I think you uh. caught a cab there for a second, oh, buddy. Geez. Yeah. What, maybe, Where'd uh, I go? I don't know. Too, too much cough syrup, yeah. maybe, huh? Ah! <laughs> a royal jab! Yeah. Okay. I've just been slain by Sir Jokalot. Okay. Now... <laughs> David, I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave, but okay. before I do... I would like, if I may, to read my itinerary, where mm -hmm. I'll be for the next 24 hours, in case you need to contact me. All right. Why exactly would we want to contact you, Marlon? Well, I don't know, in case, of, well, uh, in case somebody dies, uh -huh, right. maybe. I've grown very fond of your staff here, uh -huh. and I hate to talk about it, but right. if somebody does pass away, <laughs> I'd like to know about it, because okay. I'll be there like that yeah, well, and do be, whatever I can. You'd be the first we would notify, naturally. Okay, well, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. So in case of death, uh -huh. right after the show, I'll be in the green room there for the duration of the program, uh -huh. and I'll be eating whatever's left of that uh, the giant uh, coffee cake coffee that cake. you get okay. after each show. That's delicious. <laughs> then after that, I'll make my way to my hotel room uh -huh. where I'll be watching dirty pictures, <laughs> which I will rent. And whatever happens there is whatever happens. <laughs> okay. Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Okay. <laughs> my hairdresser knows okay. for sure. Okay, that's great. Uh, Marlon Brando. Dave, should I leave now? Marlon Brando, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Marlon, why don't you? Do you want to buy a gentlemen. We have your uh, Bill Walsh, David Sanborn, Anton, Will, Paul, and Sid. Sounded pretty darn good, guys. Um, Monday, uh, Monday on the show, normally uh, the uh, Monday shows are these horrible reruns of earlier shows we've trashed, but uh, this Monday is a pretty good one. We have uh, Penn and Teller, the always funny Penn and Teller, and uh, Bob Sarlat, a very funny comedian, and the lovely, lovely Connie Chung. That's Monday. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And may I be so bold as to interrupt your little late night with Larry King Live, which I was watching in the green room. It's very funny. Now, this evening, ladies and gentlemen, 
the fellas, Ringo and the fellas and I, have put together a little something. It's uh, called my famous banana dance. Um, and it's something that I uh, perform on my island regularly and I perfected some years back. And before we perform it, I'd just like to say before we do it that we hope we do not offend. All right, now just one moment. Nice Let me prepare for it. Let me throw the out the bananas dance. here. I'm going to put them right here. All right, fellas, you ready? Yeah. Okay, on you. Go ahead, Ringo. Hit it. Here we go. All right. There we go. Bananas. Ah. Thank you, Paul. I love you. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. David Letterman. Don't, don't take this personally, uh, but that made me sick, too. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, very entertaining. Oh, jeez, I'm out of breath. Oh, is that made right? you sick. Got yeah. me out of breath. Yeah. Do you have any uh, nitro pills on you? Nitro, Dave? no. I'm uh, guessing we don't have uh, any. What, do you have heart problems? Uh, well, you know, I do have heart problems, but... You know what? I think this is gas. Uh huh. I think. Oh yeah, that's gas. That's gas. Uh huh. Oh, but you know what? Uh -huh. oh. I feel a lot better oh, now. It's good. funny how that comes, comes and, goes. and goes. I see. Uh, so Marlon, tonight, what uh, you always have something? Uh, what can we do? Hey, Dave. Dave. Yeah. Before we start, oh sure. my God, can you do something for I'll me? I'd be happy to. Oh geez, I'm afraid to look. Can you peer over here? Am I wearing pants? Yes, you are, Marlon. Oh, jeez. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Yesterday, I go out of my hotel room. I get halfway down Fifth Avenue. I got no pants on. <laughs> oh, no. How embarrassing. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't happen here on the Superstation. That's right. Now, Marlon. Uh, uh, what are they laughing at? I don't know. Now, you, you always have a little something, and I notice you have your bag there. So I what? got something for you, All David. Right, As everyone knows, this evening is David's birthday. <laughs> Uh, April. My birthday what? is in April. I have a bad April ear. April is my birthday. Now, April. I have brought a gift for you. That's very touching. And uh, so this is from me to you, buddy. Happy 28th. Thank you very much. <laughs> 28 years old. You believe that when I got some swamp land I want to buy from you. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, Marlon, this is, you know... This uh, is... <laughs> there you go. Very nice. Uh, now, let me... Let me explain this. This is. <laughs> Please let me explain. This is uh, this is the new Michael Jackson album. Uh -huh. It's entitled Bad. Right. And uh, the gentleman at the store told me that she hasn't recorded in five years. Uh -huh. And this is one of her best albums. Uh -huh. And um, it's in high fidelity. High fi hi fi. So if you have a high fi it'll Great. sound terrific. Uh -huh. And uh, can you get a close up on her? Let's get in. What <laughs> what tree do I show this? Right, to? right there. Right there. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? All right. I'm in love. Okay. All right, Marla. <laughs> now, I must tell you, there is a controversy about this album and some confusion. It is entitled Bad, but let me explain. It is not bad like bad. It doesn't sound good. I'm not going to go out in the store and buy it because it's bad. No, it's bad because it's good. Let's go out in the store and buy it because bad is good, man. Bad is good, soul, man. Dig it? Dig it, man? <laughs> Dave, I don't think they're following no, me. It's a popular... <laughs> Popular jargon of the Do day. Do you have an address they can call in and get a transcript we'll, we'll of what happy. I just said? Sure, we'll be happy to. Now, Marlon, right. uh, I think, oh. I'm sorry, but I think oh. we're just about out of time. Yeah, I know. This fellow's over here giving me the finger. Yeah. Listen, uh, before I go, I got a request. Sure. If I may. Can you have that talking pig from Green Acres on? <laughs> have you, have we seen this? What is it, Arnold Ziffel? <laughs> no. Very hot. Uh -huh. Now, I must tell you that my theory is that there's a guy inside there pushing levers because no pig could be that good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll see what we can uh, do, Marlon. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you, why don't you just go ahead and go? All right, ladies that's it. I'm Marlon going, I guess. Marlon Brando. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go.
Boys. Monday on the program, uh, Pat Sajak will be here, host of Wheel of Fortune. Is the lovely Vanna accompanying him? Huh? Is she here? Vanna will be here. Uh, also, Harry Shear and uh, Peter Frampton. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't get too excited. This is a rerun. Uh, in a couple of minutes, we're going to meet Mary Jenkins, uh, who formerly worked for Elvis. Uh, Gentlemen. Now, Bissell Bowles, to interrupt your little late-night Hollywood squares with John Davidson, thank which I was much. watching in the green room. Thank it's going you. very well. Well, incidentally. thank you, Marlon. John uh -huh. and the audience, I would like you to meet this wonderful young lady who introduced herself to me while I was strolling down Ninth Avenue today. Um, and quite frankly, her name, is, her name is Jasmine or Cinnamon. I don't uh -huh. know. It's one of the spices. Uh -huh. But quite frankly, David... I told her you would give her a job. Oh, well, uh, you know, I'm not sure we can do that. Now, I must to... say she's a hard worker. Well, I'm sure she is. And uh, she is honest as the day is long. Uh -huh. I lent you uh, already, what, 500, 600 bucks. And uh, I know I got that back as soon as she gets a chance to go to the bank. Oh, okay, so fine. That's as good as a yes. I think you're hired. Why don't you go on upstairs to Dave's office and oh, okay. take a bath or something, take a shower. Nice meeting and, uh, you. And you'll have to fill out a W-4. <laughs> well... Uh, Marlon, it's uh, awfully good to see you. Oh, geez, thanks for giving the kid a break. Well, sure, I, I do what I can. I think she'll be an asset yeah, to your I'm show. Yeah, sure she will, yeah. She'll... Oh, geez, my shoulder's killing what, me What's tonight. the problem? Do you have a little bursitis or something? No, I've been giving uh, Ringo over there piggyback rides all day. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> You're wearing me out, Ringo. You're going to give me a hernia. All right. Now, <laughs> it keeps him happy. Well, I'm sure it does. Now, Marlon, uh, I know whenever you come out here, you have a little something in one of your bags. I like to bring something. Well, we always look forward All to right. it. All right. Well, you know what I've been doing? I've been sort of poking around up in the office, kind Is of sticking right? my nose maybe where it shouldn't be. Uh -huh. But I came up with Dave's high school yearbook. Uh -huh. And <laughs> you probably don't want me to do this, but there's a picture in here i got to show everybody. Now, this is from <laughs> Dillsburg High in Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. And it's 1977. You're a senior there. And I don't know what tree to show this. Right tree. over there, tree number one, Marlin. Tree, well, right over well, there. Number right one, there. Or right number two. It. No, one is fine. All right, and you come right in over here where I'm pointing. There's Dave. <laughs> 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 Look at that hair. Uh, you were weird looking, yeah. buddy. Now, Marlin, <laughs> that's that's not me. I went to high school in Indiana. And and of course, your name back then was Kevin Geiger. That's right. Um, before. <laughs> Before you change it, there's another one back here in activities class. Here you are with some apple cider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy. Well, from the looks of these photos, I must tell you that I don't think you were very popular, uh, except maybe with your dermatologist. All right, Marla. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that out. And uh, I didn't want to embarrass you. No, that's right. We're now we're about out of time. <laughs> oh. But before we go, is there any oh. way we could talk you into maybe doing a little bit of that lovely dance you did uh, for us a week ago? The banana dance. That's right. Uh. The lovely. Banana oh, dance. You don't have to twist my arm. Oh, Why don't you come over and do it no, with me? No, I'll just sit over here and admire you in the distance. I'd do anything for you, John. <laughs> I know you I'd would. i get down on my hands and knees like a dog and clean your floor okay, with my tongue. Okay, great. Well, I'd like to see that. Uh, Should I? Please do. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Marlon Brando uh, and his famous... Oh, please. Oh, please, fellas. Hold on, Ringo, fellas. Keep your pants on. Before we start, I'd just like to dedicate this long-distance style to two friends of mine, two natives from my island. This goes out to my trusty right-hand man, Jacunta. And to uh, the Ooh. lovely Katinka, Jacunta, uh -huh. my right-hand man, and to Katinka, who uh, God. at this moment is carrying my child. Uh -huh. So it could be Jacunta's child. Who knows on the island? Film on that one at 11. All right, fellas, give me a second. And let me get the bananas out. Ooh. All right, Ringo, on you, whenever you want to do it. Here we go, folks. There we go. There we go. That's it. Bananas. Yeah. Bananas. Here we go, everybody.
Thanks, kids. Welcome back to the show. It's our, I guess it's our big Halloween show because we have the Halloween pumpkin there. We, we got to think about getting a dehumidifier in here. Monday uh, on the program. Oh, Monday. Look at Monday. Jane Fonda will be here and Steve Martin. That will uh, be Monday. Uh, coming up later in tonight's program, well, we still got a good one here. Uh, Dr. C. Ralph Campo will be joining us from the University of Psychic Science. Singer Dave. A little raise the Titanic hour with Telly Savalas. So I was watching in the green room. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of All Hallows Eve celebration, you must guess, I beg you to guess, like a pig I beg you to guess, with all your might, who I may very well be right now. Marlon Brando, ah. ladies and gentlemen. It's Marlon Brando. <laughs> it's me, everybody. Yeah. Hi. All right, fine. Marlon, it's... Uh... It's uh, happy pranks and candy. Yeah, it's always a happy pranks and candy. Thank you very much. It's always uh, a pleasure to see you, and that's uh, a lovely uh, costume there. Oh, well, Were thank you supposed you. to be some kind of like a lady gorilla or something? Oh yeah, what a brain trust we have over here, Telly. No, <laughs> I'm on my way to Oz. I'm Dorothy. You're Dorothy. I Look see. at my silver slippers. Yeah, here they are. Yeah, I think I, I think uh, Dorothy had. Uh, Ruby slippers. Uh, what? Ruby. They were covered with rubies, the slippers. Have you been uh, puffing off Ringo's peace pipe or something? Uh, huh? Is so that what's Marla, going on out here? What, uh, <laughs> what can we do for you tonight? Well, Dave, uh -huh. in the tradition of All Hallows' Eve, sure. our celebration begins this evening with a seance. Oh, great, a now, seance. If we sure. can lower the lights. All right, I'd let's dim the lights that. a little bit. And I think you and I, you and I should hold hands. No, I don't think so. Uh, all right, well. What we're going to do is, is try to raise my beloved friend, Mickey Rooney. Okay. Now, let us just, I think maybe you should take your shirt off. Well, no, I'm, I'm not going to take off my shirt. I'm not going to hold your hands in. Plus, Mickey Rooney is still alive. All right, well, fine. If you're not going to take it seriously, forget it. Raise the lights. Forget uh, okay. it. We can't do it. I see you and Ringo giggling out of the corners of your mouth. All right, now. Go back to third grade, Ringo. Uh, no. <laughs> Marlon, uh, what else can we uh, do for you tonight? Well, in continuing with our celebration, <laughs> I have brought... How was your summer, Marlon? Uh, my what? <laughs> never mind. <laughs> my summer. Yeah, never mind. I know. I don't... It's ages ago. I don't know what yeah. it means. Okay. Um, I have here some sustenance from my island. Now I have some donuts. Oh, donuts. Traditional donuts and apple cider. Cider and donuts. Well, that's which nice. I would like us to, to now consume. Uh huh. And I'll put this over here. Jacunta, my trusty right hand man, packed this for me. Uh huh. Now let me just pour it for you right here. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I'll just pour it. All right. Uh, now, Jacunta is the, uh, the guy that uh, takes care of your place on the island. my right-hand man. Well, didn't you have a falling out with the... With Jacunta? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> uh, a while ago. You, you see, Jacunta worked for me for many years, and then he came up with a crazy idea that he should get paid. <laughs> <laughs> but, so I told him we'd talk about it, yeah. so that's fine. Go it's ahead and eat up. There are no donuts in here. No, I know. I ate them all. Oh. All right. Let's have our apple cider, okay, then. Great. It's Hollow's Eve. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Well, that's odd. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's wrong, Marlon? Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd swear that that tastes like... Jacunta, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, forget what tree to... All right, I'm gonna deal with you when I get back to the island, Jacunta. I can't, don't drink it. Uh, it's okay. not, it's not cider. <laughs> okay. okay. So, very funny, Jacunta. <laughs> you, you're pronouncing that name correctly? Jacunta. Yeah. All right. Did I say something? <laughs> Boy, it's depressing, I don't know. Isn't it? I know. It's been a long night. Oh, well, I guess I should go to my big finish. All right, your big finish, sure. Uh, uh, this is for everybody in the audience and for you out here. Thanks. Because I've had a wonderful visit. Uh. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so glad we have this time together uh -huh. just to have a laugh and sing a song. <laughs> May I be so bold as to say, it seems we just get started, and before you know it, Comes a time we gotta say so long. Goodbye, everybody. Marlon Brando, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Friday.
Comedian Jerry Seinfeld is here tonight. Tomorrow on the program, Martin Short, a very funny gentleman. Candace, Candace Bergen will be here tomorrow. And uh, also, uh, Stevie Ray Fromstein will be here tomorrow on uh, Friday. Is, it, is, Marlon, is Marlon Brando here? Is Mar did he want to come in? Is Marlon Brando out there or not? He was supposed. We played the music and he was. Uh, Marlon! Oh, there he is. Mm. Excuse me. Excuse me, Marlon. What? Marlon, can you. Why, why are you putting. Marlon did. Uh, why, why are you putting mustard on it? I asked for chocolate. Did you. Did you want to come in here, Marlon? We heard the music. Are you awake? Uh, hi, Daddy. Oh, no. Mar Mar Marlon, we played the Dave. music. Do you want to come in, Marlon? We oh, played the music. Oh, I, I'm a little groggy. I don't think so. I think. Well, I'll, we were all I'll looking just... forward to a little visit. <laughs> That's pathetic, isn't it? All right, Mar all right. I'll come in just a little bit, though. Okay, I'm ladies and gentlemen, Marlon Brennan. <laughs> Ringo, not so loud, for crying out loud. Marlon, uh, what is wrong with you, Marlon? You look, uh, why are you uh, so tired? Yeah, what I, is... I, I, I said the monkey to the chimp. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, Marlon. Yeah, yeah. Marlon. Uh, what, what? Oh, Uncle Fester. No, it's not Uncle Fester. Uh, what, uh, what uh, is wrong with you? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Dave. I've had a cold for about a week now. Oh, no. And I've been taking these antihistamines every day, three, every three hours for the last week. Let me see, where the hell are they? Oh, oh, that's a clam. That's not the... <laughs> oh, God, he's... Oh, God, he's right. That, we is had a, a, that is a clam. We had a party on the island. Oh, where the... Sorry about... Oh, here it is. They're this called... is your medication? Yeah, they're called Sinutex. Sinutex. Let me see what that is. Boy, do they make you drowsy. No, yeah. Marlon, that's not Sinutex. This is Somonex. Well, there you go. But whatever it is, they should sell it to Insomniacs because well, yeah. it really makes you tired. Uh, Marlon, is, uh... Is there... Is there... Did you bring what? us... Did you bring us a little something? We always enjoy when you have a little something for us. A little us. something. No, I gave you the clam. That's yeah. right. We have... We have the clam, no, that's I, right. I'm sorry, and I don't mean to be repetitious, but I'm very tired, so I'm going to take a nap. Uh, all right, all right. Before you go, is there something you can leave with us? Jeez, I'll give you a little banana. You want oh. a little banana? <laughs> Just don't make me do a lot. Give me a little Ringo. Hit oh, okay. it with the boys. Jeez, where am I? <laughs> Uh, bananas. Bananas. Good night, Marlon. Okay. Uh, Friday, Sonny Bono will be here with his ex-wife, Cher. That'll be Friday night. And uh, foot doctor, shoe collector, Dr. Uh, Ted Borgias will be here. We got to do a commercial. We'll be right back with uh, Power of Power. Number four, even if you don't have any pets, you'll be endlessly fascinated.
Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve, Paul. What, what, what can we do for you tonight? Well, I was just in the neighborhood. I'm on my way to a screening of The Last Emperor a couple blocks away, so they told me I could find you here. I just came to say hi. Well, I certainly appreciate that. But I see you're busy, so... Uh... Yeah, we're... Yeah, we got <laughs> really important work to do here, Chris. Yeah. We'll talk later. Well, nice to see you, That's nice, Paul. A big star like Chris Reeve, if he's in the area, he'll drop in and say hello. Exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Very nice. You never know. Very this nice. is the kind of show where anything can happen and anything. usually does. <laughs> so dust Thank off you. your funny bones. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Now, wasn't, wasn't that nice, having Paul Simon yeah, on? Yeah, it was that great. Day? Very nice. Was Very entertaining. Very nice. uh, and in a few minutes, you're going to meet actress uh, Christine Lottie, a lovely woman and a talented actress, and uh, also a uh, former White House chef. By the way, a lovely chef and a very talented chef, uh, Henry Haller. Uh, tomorrow on the program, tomorrow will be our special Thanksgiving show. Awesome. And for that show, it's going to be a rerun. This was it's about a year and a half. Um, Carl Reiner, uh, sportscaster Dick Enberg, and uh, comedian Drake Sather. That will be uh, tomorrow. And in just a couple of minutes, uh, we're going to meet uh, Christine Lottie. Tonight is the night of the annual Stagehands Thanksgiving Day Feast. How can you take a shot of the feast in progress? Sure. We thought you'd be interested in uh, seeing how this uh, happens every year. There. Excuse me, ma'am. Pardon me, ma'am. Do you mind? Excuse what? me, ma'am. Can you step what? aside there? Huh? Oh, oh, my gosh. It's, it's Marlon Brando, what? ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you why. Okay. You want more? I'll give you some more. God. <laughs> Looks like something that might be going on at Rikers Island. Marlon, what? what's uh, what's going on out Who there? Who is it? I hear you. I it's, don't see you. Where are you? It's me, Dave. I'm in the studio, Marlon. Dave, you thought I was a girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marlon, what, what are you doing out there? Huh? I say, what are you doing out there? Well, I'm giving the fellas a Thanksgiving meal in the tradition of the island. Uh -huh. how, how do you like it? They love it. Yeah, okay. What, what is the traditional island meal? Beans. Uh-huh. Marlon, maybe you ought to go a little easy on that. You look a little unstable there. Are you all right? You want some beans? Is no. that what you said? No, I don't want any beans. I'll bring them in to no. you. Oh, and now he's coming uh -huh. in, Paul. Marlon is coming in. Let me just fill in. it up here. Oh, uh, bringing in uh -huh. some island beans. <laughs> oh, God. All right, you Marlon, that's that plenty. Pot, here he is, Marlon. <laughs> Uh, Maybe you should go a little easier. Hi, everybody. That. Happy so, Turkey Hour. Thank you. Thank you, Marlon. Nice to have uh, you here. Wait, how do you do that? How do we do what, Marlon? Well, how do you get the place to spin? <laughs> well, we're, 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 not, uh, we're not doing anything, Marlon. Maybe, maybe, you should, maybe you should have a seat. Uh, Sit down. Oh, maybe I should. Yeah. How do you do that? Well, you, you start by bending your knees. Start by bending your That's knees. That's right. You know, if that's the beginning of a joke, I don't want to know the punchline. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, All right, Dave, and yeah. now I'm going to serve you the beans you so justly deserve. Uh, let me just... Thanks. Yeah. I'll use this one. I'm really not very hungry, you know. No, this is from the island. Uh -huh. I don't know if you get a shot of that. Yeah, okay. That's... Don't eat the black fuzzy no, things. I don't know what they are. Oh, okay. You know, I don't, I don't think I'll eat any of it, Marlon. Huh? I, don't, I don't think I'll eat any Why of it. Why not? Well, I'm it's, not very hungry. Well, it's actually. delicious. Yeah, I'm sure you it eat is. it with your fingers. That's yeah. a tradition that's on the island. I'll show you. No, no, I don't think you want to. Oh. oh, Marlon. Oh, Marlon, it's Thanksgiving. You really. No. No, I shouldn't have done that. Uh -huh. That. Do you have a drawer in that no, desk? No, as a matter no, we don't. As a matter of fact, there are no drawers in the desk, Marlon. Uh, as you use yeah, your own drawers. Something here to wash it down. No. Marlon, maybe you better go back to the party now. Don't what? You? Maybe you ought to go back to the. Well, station. I got my big finish. Oh, don't you want to hear that? Oh, sure. Oh yeah, here, Ringo Squanto, whatever your name is over there. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, did you enjoy that, Marlon? Third grade assembly. <laughs> Third grade assembly. So before we go oh, on, I have my, my favorite dance that I do. It's called the banana dance. You uh, all know that. Yeah, we all know that. Well, there's no little variation on it. I do it once a year on okay. Turkey Hour. Right, so here we go, okay. Sasquatch, whatever. Here we go. Here we go. Brando, ladies and gentlemen. Beans. No. Alan Brando, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. 
Let's have some more. Yeah, uh, we'll be right back here with Christine Lottie. <laughs> I was right, the thrill is gone. Turns thrill out is, the thrill, thrill is, is gone. gone. Oh, thrill brother. is not gone. I need another drink. Bring me some scotch or something. I'm so depressed. The thrill, the thrill is no, gone. The thrill is back. The thrill the th is back. The thrill is back. You're uh, probably saying to yourselves about this time, gee, Dave, who's on the program tomorrow night? I'm going to tell you this moment. Tomorrow, singer Ronnie Spector. Ronnie Spector tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Yeah, singing? Singing uh, the Christmas arrangement uh, uh, of Sleigh Ride from the Phil Spector Christmas album. All right. Also, be a Billy Crystal. Ah. Yeah. Billy Crystal and uh, Jimmy the Greek. Wow. <laughs> uh, that'll be tomorrow night. Yet to come on our program here this evening, uh, actress-singer Julie Brown will be joining us, and uh, also uh, a song with uh, our band and B.B. Uh, King. That's yet to come in the next half hour. Howdy, 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 ho, everybody. <laughs> but I must tell you, I am not Marlon. Uh -huh. I am Santa of the North. And this is my little pixie over here, Kukla. Can we get a shot? There he is. <laughs> now, Kukla and I have a little message from all the fairies in the cold country. <laughs> and the message goes as follows, if I may uh -huh. take a moment to read it sure. to all of you. It goes, happy, merry Christmas, and happy holidays to everybody. And, of course, to all our Jewish friends, happy Yamaha. <laughs> all right. With that, I'm going to sit down. Okay. Where the hell? That's very oh. nice. Very nice of you, Marlon. Oh. I mean, uh, I oh, mean, uh, me take a load uh, Santa. Would, uh, you, would your elf like uh, to join us here? Oh, Kukla. I forgot all about you. Kukla. Kukla. <laughs> David and I have to talk a little bit now, so why don't you go over and play with Ringo, okay? <laughs> Just for a little bit. You and Ringo play fun together. Don't right? tell me what to do, you fat pig. All right. <laughs> all right. Why is everything such a challenge with you? You're always challenging me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Dave, we've been on a plane for 12 hours together. Da 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 in my ears, 12 hours. Jeez, I'm sorry to hear upset. that. I'm yeah. sorry. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, I understand. So, uh, happy holidays, and, oh, and uh, what can we do for you tonight, Marlon? Oh, anything. Well, I brought something for you and your oh, staff. Great. A little That's Christmas right. gift. Sure, yeah. that'd be wonderful. Now, this is from the island, uh -huh. and it's an assortment. Kukla, cheer up, will ya? <laughs> it's an assortment of cheeses. This is the from island. the island. What yeah, island it's is a that exactly, wrap. Marlon? Where uh, is it? I'm not even going to tell you where it is because uh -huh. you're going to show up. Yeah. Assortment of cheeses. Jacunta put These this together. These are native there's, island cheeses. There's cow cheese in here Very and goat nice. cheese and Take dog cheese. cheese and whatever you want. Ooh. Oh, Marlon. What's wrong? It, it looks like the cheese has melted. <laughs> That's what my wife says. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gene Krupa, help me out. Huh? <laughs> Oh, I feel geez. a little can rattle there. <laughs> now, there's a gift in here for you somewhere. Uh -huh. Oh, there it is. I don't know. It's a brush. Uh -huh. oh, that's I, I got this at a yard sale. Oh, okay. Why, why don't you, uh, we'll put that aside. You want to try it? No, I'll get to that later. I'll get to that over there for yeah, you. Thank you very much. Oh. So, uh, Marlon, how, how are you spending oh. the holidays this huh? year? I say, how are you spending the holidays this oh, year? Oh, don't ask. I got lawsuits out there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Copyright kind of stuff? Movie uh, rights? That sort of thing? Uh, Contracts? No, I stole a box of cookies from Pathmark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But it was harassment. I'm going to sue them for everything they got. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't tell them I did. Uh -huh. Hey, I didn't just screw things here, did no, I? No, you didn't. Hey, I didn't do it, folks. <laughs> I didn't steal it. OK. That's too bad, Marlon. But I, uh, I, see, I see we're nearly out of time. Uh, already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, before I go. 
um, Kukla and I had a little something <laughs> planned for you, if that's all right. No, it's we'd a love little to see excerpt it. from the Hans Christian Andersen oh. classic ballet uh -huh. um, in, in, entitled The Nutcracker Suite. Oh, Nutcracker Suite? Yeah, if I could do it for you, oh, if Ringo please, could help sure, me out. I'd love to see Kukla, that. Kukla, get over here. Let's do it. Uh, the Nutcracker Suite. Oh, boy. Okay, Ringo, you all set? Kukla, right here. Okay, here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow, that caught me by surprise. <laughs> come on, Kukla, let's go. It's paying your bills. Let's go. Come on. Everybody, come on, Kukla. <laughs> the holidays. All right, that's it. Kukla, get it going. Come on. <laughs> What is that again, Paul? I know we have this discussion every few weeks. What is that? Excuse me, sir. What is that song you just played? Uh, Here I Am, Baby by he Mr. Al Green. Oh, very nice. Classic, isn't it? Very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, tomorrow on the uh, program, Superman. comedian Stephen Wright will be with us. That's tomorrow. That's Friday night. And uh, Susan Sarandon, or Sarandon. Sarandon or Sarandon, Paul? Oh, I, I don't know. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Paul's preoccupied. Is it Susan me. Sarandon? I don't know. Susan Sarandon. She'll be here tomorrow night. And coming up tonight on the program, Basil Saffer. And uh, actress Ann Archer. Marlon coming in? Marlon? Is Marlon Brando with us tonight? Coming in? What is it, Biff? He's in his dressing room packing to get out of here. Marlon is in his dressing room packing to get out of here? Sure is. Nice job on the lines. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll go check this out here. Marlon? Excuse me. Excuse me, Marlon? Hi, Marlon. What's, what's going on? Mind if I come in? Just kind of move it. Move it. Hi, how are you? Are you an assassin? No, no. I'm Dave. I'm the host of the show. You're neither. You're a messenger was sent by Ringo to collect some bananas. Are you feeling all right? Uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Uh, There's a, a gardenia field in Indiana. Yeah. What, uh, what's the deal with the suitcases and uh, the boxes and so forth? Oh, Dave, hi. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm returning to the island uh -huh. um, where I'll live out the remaining years of my life. Uh -huh as lord and master over all the natives whose ancestors have been on that island for thousands of years, long before I was wearing underwear. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a club med thing? I didn't thing. say I was wearing them now. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Hurry up, Dakota. Oh, uh, boy. Well, uh, maybe it's just as well that you're yeah. going back. We had some good times. Oh, we had some yeah. great times, sure. Oh, they were good for you, oh, too? Oh, terrific, yes. Well, if they were good for you, could I have one last request? Sure, what is it? Now will you take off your shirt? <laughs> no, no, I'm not taking anything off. Well, how about your shoes? No, no, nothing's coming off. Nothing? Up. No, not at all. <laughs> well, then how about you show a little retrospective, a little film piece of all my appearances? That would be nice. Uh, Something. Sure, I happen to know for a fact that you spent most of the day uh, putting a montage together, uh, and it's ready oh, to roll. Oh, yeah. well, what a surprise. So, uh, I'd love Al, to see if it. if you can go ahead and roll that uh, uh, retrospective uh, montage Jacunta. of Marlon here. Would you hurry? Is it Jacunta? Is that how that's Jacunta. pronounced? Jacunta. Jacunta. <laughs> Two hearts get free.
right, Dave. Well, I got a plane to catch. All right, goodbye, uh, Chris. See you later. Hey, right, by the way, whatever. you think Jacundo will fit under the seat or in the overhead compartment? <laughs> ah, it's a I joke. Know. I know. It's, it's, it's hard to say goodbye, though, isn't it? It is hard to say goodbye forever, yeah. isn't it? Right. But then again, I'll be on your anniversary show in right. about three weeks. Right. There's talk of a cable special, and let's well, not rule good. out Friday night videos. Well, there you go. <laughs> so I'll be around for a while. Okay, good for you. Come on, Jacundo, let's go. Okay, bye. See you later. Nice goodbye, you everybody. Okay. Hey, wait up. Hey, Dave. Yes, Biff? You really think Chris is going to the island? Well, it looks that way, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I think that means more appearances on the show for me? Well, yeah, maybe. Sure, we'll talk about it. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a happy little guy, aren't you? <laughs> Okay, keep it moving, Jacunta. Keep it moving. I'm behind you. Uh, uh.